Hello everyone, so this video we're going to look at the pre-beta Svelte kit. So it's not beta yet, it's pre-beta. Um, what I saw is that they made this public because they needed more GitHub actions or something. Um, so let's just look at this pre-beta version. You know, some stuff will change, okay, so it's pre-beta, uh, but we can still play around with it, it's pretty fun. You can come here to documentation on the Svelte.js slash kit site, or GitHub site, go to documentation, you can go to docs and look at some stuff here. So first thing to start your project, change directory wherever you're going to put it. So I'll put it in practice slash felt kit practice. And that'll make a directory uh, go in there. And then it's npm init svelte at next. Okay, so that'll start our project up. It's got a few questions here. Let me make this bigger. Uh, use TypeScript and components? No, I don't think it's quite ready yet, TypeScript, but it will be soon. CSS, okay, cool. So then we can npm install, and then after that we can npm run dev. So I'm not going to npm run dev here, so that we can see how quickly it updates. Um, so just as frame of reference, I'm using M1 Mac, and I am recording, so that slows down um, performance a bit, but it's still pretty quick. So npm run dev, and there it is, ready to go. So I open that up, and here we go. Here is our uh, little default. So it's very similar to Sapper. Um, let's see, is it already? Yeah, so if you look here, it was pre-rendered or server-side rendered. Um, so we get that for free. That's great. So we have Vite now, you'll see, not Snowpack. So it is Vite. I guess it is faster. Uh, I don't know uh, why all they decided to go with Vite, but it seems pretty great. So here we'll look in source. Basically, we've got routes and components. Similar to Sapper, it is uh, file-based routing. So this index that's felt right here is going to go at the index right here. And then if I change or if I add another one called like uh, something.svelte something, then that will be at the slash something like this. And then now, uh, one thing that changed slightly is if I want to layout, it's going to look like this. Okay, so if I do anything like um, with an underscore, oops, why does it do that? Uh, like, yeah, anything with an underscore in front of it is going to be ignored as a route. It's not going to be included as a route. So I do underscore LA, um, and I put here LA. Well, that's not going to show up. So I go to LA, or I guess underscore LA, and there's nothing. Okay, so this is just ignored. So we have a layout here which has a dollar sign in front of it instead of the underscore. So we'll need a slot and then we can uh, just say like layout up here and now everything will be wrapped in a layout. Let's see. Yeah, layout like that. Um, so index something. Uh, okay, that might be... Oh, one cool thing also is right here, index, that's what you can see. You can use a dollar sign components and that will refer to your components folder and you can import anything from there, anyway in your project. Um, I heard they might not be keeping this, I'm not sure exactly, but it looks like this dollar sign is going to basically signify that this is like a Svelte or Svelte kit thing, um, I think is the idea. Okay, the last thing that I wanna show you, which I think is pretty cool, is how to build your project. So let's come in here in the docs building, I think this is the right one, Okay, so we got adapters. That's pretty cool. So if you go to svelte.js slash adapter and you look at these, we've got a node adapter, Netlify, Vercel. So basically you can use a different adapter to build to different, like if I want to deploy to Netlify, I can build it so that it deploys on Netlify or um, deploys to Vercel or static or node. Uh, so static would be like exporting in Sapper, I believe, and this would be like the normal build in Sapper, so it's just the node. Um, so I will look at the uh, deploying to Netlify in the next video. But for now, that is all. Let me know what you think. And once it becomes like comes out as beta, I'll do some more videos. So have a wonderful day and goodbye.